Adaptability is the essential propelling force behind innovation. We need to experiment and take new risks when implementing new peace-building strategies. This team faced challenges that included scarcity of committed volunteers and poor attendance at their sessions. They adapted to preserve participation in their programs and continuously found new ways to spark interest among participants. The volunteers involved prominent members of the community in the program, including two professional athletes whose identities were on different sides of the conflict. Both athletes shared their life stories with the participants and spoke of how sport changed their life for the better. Participants heard firsthand how people of different ethnic backgrounds could put their differences aside and become friends for life. At the end of the program, volunteers invited participants to a photo exhibition of one of their first program participants in 2012, Alexandra Nikolovska. This event showcased the impact their Sports and Art for Peace program had on the artist and gave them a chance to thank Alexandra for her continued involvement in the program, while sharing an inspiring success story with participating families who were touched by the experience. Congratulations to the Republic of Macedonia's Tetevo team for winning the Innovation Award. Generations for Peace has been working in Sarati since 2014, tackling inter-ethnic, inter-tribal, and inter-religious divisions. GFP Sports for Peace program brought together participants from four different religious denominations with the aim of promoting active tolerance through building respect and trust among the participants. Due to the extremely sensitive context in Sarati, volunteers knew this program would require very careful facilitation to ensure the program was doing no harm. During a break between cycles of the program, volunteers implemented a tree planting campaign with trusted community members to revive confidence in the program. Volunteers effectively tackled many challenges, such as the interpretation of religious doctrine and ideological differences. In response to sensitive issues, the volunteers allowed the participants to discuss and decide for themselves how they wanted to approach each challenge. The program has made impressive progress despite the complex context, thanks to the quality of design and implementation. Congratulations to Uganda Sport for Peace program and Sarati for winning the Quality Award. Kadona have made impeccable strides in their communities using what they have learned from the Empowerment for Peace program. The influence is crossing tribal lines, guiding youth groups, and breaking gender stereotypes. The program also had a significant impact on the border community, helping women recognize the key roles they can play in the growth and development of their local communities. Community leaders now understand the importance of including women at decision-making levels. This includes official roles on the council and mobilizing various self-help groups for women, such as a peace forum and women's cooperative. By engaging with local media, the women have successfully raised awareness of the need for inclusion and female participation within their communities. It is estimated that the current session will reach another 200 women in their communities, providing them with the skills in peace building and income generation. 
Congratulations to the Nigeria Empowerment for Peace program in Kaduna for winning the Impact Award. Jordan serves as a safe haven for vulnerable populations and refugees, which presents challenges as the population growth rate increases and delivery of public services is stretched. Conflict between refugees and hosting community youth in local school poses a barrier to education and positive interaction among students and between students and teachers. Many students and teachers do not possess basic skills for conflict management or positive interpersonal communication. The students also lack self-confidence which contributes to conflict and violence. The Jordan Schools program aims to improve the quality of students' interactions with each other and teachers. By building problem-solving abilities and addressing the lack of respectful and tolerant relationships between different groups. After the program, increased interaction and bonding among students and with the teachers was reported as obvious in all of the 12 program locations. Quiet, shy and unsocial students gained self-confidence, leadership skills and a high sense of responsibility and they became eager to participate in activities and cooperate with other students. Acceptance increased and the number of violent incidents decreased. The program was so successful in contributing to the decrease in violence in schools by spreading positive values, changing negative attitudes, and helping to instill cooperation, participation, and problem solving through discussion. It has now expanded to include every governorate in Jordan. Within three years, the intent is to reach every public school in the country. Congratulations to the Jordan Schools program for winning the Sustainability Award.